Last week, I drew a lot of birds. Like, a lot of birds. And I think I'm getting a lot better at drawing wings in particular. So I just thought to talk a little bit about a very basic structure of a generic bird wing that I could use if I'm ever stuck without a drawing reference. Curious, I copied down a very simple diagram of a bird's wing that breaks it down into parts that I can more easily remember. So if you really have to draw a bird, don't be a hero. Use that photo reference, preferably one of your own photos. Although I don't have any pictures of birds flying, so I'm just using a Google image of a hawk or something for the purposes of this. And I'm going to draw one of his wings. Using the reference, but also using the anatomy diagram that I drew, and I'll put it up on the screen. Here's my uh, <laughs> simplified uh, attempt at a body here, because I'm not really worried about that right now. I just need a place to attach my wing. Okay, so it seems like a wing is sort of like our arm. He has two parts connected with a little elbow of sorts. And the first part looks a little squared off, so I'm going to start with a squarish shaped shoulder bit here. <laughs> I don't know the scientific names for these parts, so I got my square, and then I got the second half of the wing. This is where his elbow bends, and he's going to have a nice gentle bend in this position. And the second half is sort of curved at the tip. And I'm going to divide his wing lightly into the different parts on my diagram. And some of them have this tiny feather on the elbow part that kind of kind of looks like a thumb if this was a human hand, I guess. And this is a large bird, so he has very noticeable axillaries, or however you say that word. I'm going to draw in his marginal coverts at the top, so that's just a little strip. And then he's going to have his secondary coverts. And then his primary coverts on the outside part of the wing here. And these are the nice big feathers that splay out. If I was trying to make a very scientific technical drawing, I would probably want to count the feathers from my reference. But for our purposes, I'm just gonna wing it. Haha. <laughs> So I notice that the marginal coverts at the top are made of these tiny little feathers that stick out and flap in the breeze as he's flying. So that seems simple enough. It's kind of like fish scales, right? I'm going to outline this a little darker so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Got the baby feathers down, and then I'm going to draw in these axillaries, or however you say that word. <laughs> these are like his sideburns. They go all the way down his body there. Mostly because he's a large bird. Smaller birds, you see a lot fewer details, so you can kind of get away with only having, you know, the main sort of triangular shape of smaller feathers and then the big feathers. So these secondary and primary coverts are slightly larger feathers that are always kind of rounded. And they come in multiple layers a lot of the time, so I'm just gonna do a nice stacked looking pile of round feathers here. And remember when you get to the elbow, the angle of the feathers might change. See, this looks pretty good. All right. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. These main feathers here are often kind of squared at the edge and are often just one layer. So I'm just gonna draw a nice little overlapping squared edge and as I get to the bend in the elbow, after that, the feathers start to get a little bit pointier, like little knife blades. And sometimes they'll be spread out so there's little gaps between. Sometimes the feathers might be in rough shape, so you might want to add little rough spots here and there, maybe a missing feather, make it look realistic. So the first four feathers at the very tip of the wing, they are usually the pointiest and there's usually four or five of them and they're sort of like a human hand in that the one at the very top is very pointy and then the second one is slightly longer just like our middle finger is slightly longer so keep that in mind when you're shaping the edge of the wing there personally i think the hardest part is trying to get the angles right i want them to radiate out from like the elbow part yeah and then they start to get 
a little bit more square shaped as you go back toward the elbow. I felt like I could cram an extra feather in there, so I erased that one and did an extra one. And there you go. Pretty decent looking bird wing. Doesn't look too bad. Made easier by breaking his wing down into smaller parts. Might be less detailed, like this chickadee. Or extremely detailed, like this huge crane. Which I thought actually looked perfect for angel wings. So if you want to see me use this simple breakdown of a bird wing to make an image of a girl with angel wings, subscribe to my channel because I will come out with that video next week. I also sell original art, sketchbooks, art prints, handmade calendars, pet commissions, and even necklace pendants on my Etsy shop. And I have a Patreon group for working in our sketchbooks where you can vote for the theme of the month. And some tiers even get original sketches mailed to you. All of my links are in the description and thanks for watching.